everyone welcome back to another video now today before I start with the questions I just want to remind you that um, in the previous video we did about um, a, one type of question and using that we could do question number three six seven and nine and today I just want to let you know about what are the other type of questions that we can do all right now in the last uh, there are in your textbook there are 15 questions and they have been divided into four types okay so the first type is when they give you cash price and cash down payment like in question number three six seven and nine oh they've given you cash price and cash down payment and they've asked you to find the value of each installment okay now i'm not going to go into depth with this one because i've done it for you in the last video okay now the second type is when they give you loan and you have to find out installment okay either that or they've given you installment and you have to find out the loan okay now rate of interest will always be given in all of the questions all right now so similar to this so these type of questions are found in question number 1 11 and 13 where they've given you loan and you have to find out in installment and vice versa is question number 12 and 15 they've given you installments you have to find out loan oh here in question at the panina hits one loan and pay nga installment in zona nga ya nga and he loads one installment and pay to nga loan ka in zona nga ve tu ngang oh tuan in question number uh the third type is they will give you cash down payment and installment and you will have to find out cash price okay cash down payment and pay to nga installment and pay book to nga cash price in zona ngai vet hunga so these type of uh, questions are found in number two four five eight and ten okay now the the fourth type is question number 14 now this is a very different um, question. It's a it's a, supposed to be solved in a totally different way. All the other three types that I've given you, they still use the same formula. X is equal to p11 plus r by 100 to the power n. Okay, ang kami wakan mga he question b ka hit suan tle mina dang lam deva, and it is exactly similar to question, example number five given in your textbook. Okay. Now apart from this, there are. Uh, a few more things which I want you to know, which is, in the last video, I told you that if they've given you cash price and cash down payment, you can find out balance, which is cash price minus cash down payment. Am I right? So, hey, cash price, like cash down payment, and pick, and pick, sa tse in, as on the hindi tiyang hiyan. Oh, so, an in, kan so, ili, abok, so, hey, mi balance, he, sum of all present values, kan tibo ka ni, P1 plus P2 plus P3, etc, etc, okay? Hmm. Kang ka kan soy to boka a dang le book two heng p one plus p two plus p three etc. How he sum of present values he loan anti nin in ang renga sum borrowed anti nin po in ang bukani oh question chen kata sum borrowed and tianga question chen kata zon loan and tianga kang zong zong ka heng present value bil kom nin hiana in ang le ring ti shat tour okay so th that means balance is equal to cash price minus cash down payment which is also equal to sum of of all present values to two p1 plus p2 plus p3 can ti ho a this is also equal to loan and it is also equal to sum borrowed okay now another formula which i need you all to know is that interest in some questions they will ask you find the total interest okay interest zondansu interest is equal to total installments minus balance oh installment and run pek zat pum pui minus balance and ah om zyatsu installment into the number of installments minus balance okay so if they say there are two installments then it will be the installment value multiplied by two if it says three installments multiplied by three minus balance to inge kan soy tokha loan ti te sum borrow ti te nene ang kan ti tokha all right now we will move on to question number 11 and and 12 i will do question number 11 and 12 and similar to question number 11 you are supposed to do number 1 and 13 and similar to question number 12 you can do question number 15 on your own all right
Now, question number 11 says, a loan of Rs. 36,720 is to be returned in two equal annual installments. If the rate of interest is 12 1 by 2% per annum compounded annually, Okay, since it said component annual, you don't have to make any changes. However, this is a mixed fraction. You will make it into a proper fraction. Now, how do we do that? 12 twos are 24 plus 1 will give you 25 by 2% per annum. Okay, now the question asks you to calculate the value of each installment. And since you don't know that, we are going to say let rupees x be the value of each installment. And let P1 and P2 be the present values principles of the two installments respectively, all right? Now, you will use the same formula, which is x is equal to P1 plus R by 100 to the power n, okay? Over here, we have 25 by 2 instead of R, so we will put 2 in the denominator along with 100, okay? So 25 by 2 into 100. And again, with P2, same thing, 25 by 2 into 100, but the power should be 2, alright? Now, 25 and 100 cancels each other out, 25, 1, 25, 4 times. So, you will get in the denominator for 2s are 8. Similarly, over here, 25, 4 times are 100, so 4 2s are 8. And the next step, that is what I've written down. I've changed only 1 by um, 8. Similarly for P2, it will become 1 by 8. In the next step, you will find out the LCM of this, okay? So you will get 8 plus 1 by 8. Similarly for P2, 8 plus 1 by 8 to the power 2, okay? Now 8 plus 1 will give you... 9 by 8 over here as well. Now, this 9 by 8, since you want to know only P1, 9 by 8, you will shift it to the other side and it will become the reciprocal. 9 by 8 will become 8 by 9, okay? So P1 is equal to 9 by 8 will become 8 by 9x. And P2 will become 8 by 9 whole square x, okay? Now we've already mentioned that loan is equal to the sum of all present values, which is P1 and P2 over here, okay? So loan, thus we have P1 plus P2 is equal to loan, which can also be equal to balance, all right? I've already told you before, but for now we'll be using loan because the question is saying loan, okay? So P1 to enge kan siya to ah, P2 po kan siya po ka, kan substitute ang ah, to an loan to 36,720 ani ah, to an common kan lale do na ni hembi panizi nga yan, okay? 8 by 9 x, 8 by 9, pakat o matapan niya o ma, pakat kan latswa ka nga, 8 by 9, le, x sa common buka, 8 by 9 kan latswa ka nga, x po common buka kan latswa ka buka nga, so an, open bracket, ta yan 8 by 9 x kan lak to vangin, 1 abang nga, pakat zo ka yan 8 by 9, pakat kan la, pakat dang alabang li a, so we will take, uh, so we will write 8 by 9, close bracket, and 36,720, all right? Now you'll find out the LCM for this one. So you will get 8 by 9x into, finding the LCM, you will get 9 plus 8 by 9, which is equal to 36,720. Okay, if you solve this, you know 9 plus 8, will give you 17 over here, ok, 
Okay, so an x tia kan siya du vang ina bula mi zong ka a right hand side da. So an kan suan pele buka nga reciprocal ina va chang le nga. Okay, so 8 by 9 ina suan pele. So 9 by 8 ina nga 17 by 9 ka 9 by 17 ilaw nile buka nga. Now hei hi. Ke juan ka zo sa to a vang in hei hi a value ka siya sa a. Oh. To uh sorry thirty six thousand seven hundred and twenty he seventeen a can divide swan to one six zero aniti kasiya ako sa okay to one two one six zero run niya to one he he eight a can divide let to one two seventy arun ni let siya ni okay two seven zero oh to one so you are left with two seventy and nine into nine okay. So the next step is 270 into 99s are 81. So this will give you 21,870. All right. So X is 21,870. Thus, uh, hence the value of each installment is rupees 21,870. Similarly, in this way, you can do question number 1 and 13. All right. Now, moving on to question number 12. So, this question number 12 says that Jaden took a loan from the State Bank of India and the rate of interest is 12% per annum compounded annually. So, you don't have to make any changes over here since it's annually, okay? And um, he uh, paid it back in two installments which are of 78,400. Now, in the previous question, loan and pay installments are not yet. We have installments that are not yet. We have loans that are not yet. All right. Now, let me show you a, a common mistake which many people make and I've made it here as well. Let rupees x be the value of each installment. It's not needed because they've already given you installment. So, let me ask question. X is the P1, P2, the present values can be Okay? Now, let me see. X ngay to lovina value kan siya sa to a. So, vang tuan 78,400. P1, 1 plus R by 100. 1. Same thing, 78,400. X ngay lovin a number, a value kan siya sa to a. Oh, 78,400 kan tig nga lang nito. Tuan, 1,200 he divided by 4. 4, 3 zar, 12, 4, 25 zar. Similarly with this, 4, 3 zar, 12, 4, 25 zar. Okay. You will find LCM 25 plus 3 runs wak nga tapo. 25 plus 3 by 25 runs wak lebok nga. Which is what you have in the next step. Now in the next step, 78,400 is equal to P1. 28 by 25. Similarly over here, 28 by 25 square. Whole square. So an, you shift it to the other side le lam panga kan suan pay chuan p2 p1 cha kan sha du wang in 78400 a umsa a abulam e kha 28 by 25 ka 25 by 28 aron di to don ta okay ta po 25 by 28 25 by 28 ka square ka expand ni a chuan he he I've calculated this and you can divide 78400 by 28 directly so it becomes 2800. Alright. Similarly over here, 2800. Again, you can divide this by 28. So it will become 100. Okay. So over here, you get 70,000. Over here, 25, 25 are 625 into 100, 62500. Zero, zero. So, you have P1 and P2, therefore you can add them up and you will find loan. Now, so when you add these two numbers together, you will get 1,32,500. That is the loan which you've, been, uh, which you've found out, okay? 
Now in this question, they are also asking you find the total interest paid by him. So total interest is equal to total installments minus loan. Twenty installments two, but ni ani awangin kami installment value ha you multiply it by two minus the loan. Now this will give you one lakh fifty six thousand eight hundred minus. One lakh thirty two thousand five hundred, and you will get rupees twenty four thousand three hundred. That is the total total interest paid by him. All right. So that's it, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.